Hello guys, welcome to Little Officers. Welcome to the series on concepts and terminology for UPSC and state PCS examinations. In this particular video, let us go and understand about what is the meaning of insulation and albedo. So which are often asked by the UPSC, both of them are related to geography. Particularly this albedo is a topic from geography as well as from environment. So the questions are coming from these particular concepts. In this particular video, let us understand what is the meaning of insulation and what is the meaning of albedo. Let us begin with insulation. See insulation is what? It is the amount of solar radiation. I have explained what is the meaning of radiation and different types of other heat transfers in another video. Do check out that video. Okay. So it is the amount of solar radiation or solar energy in the form of radiation that is received by a given surface at a given time period. So it may be earth or it may be any other surface, any celestial body or any other surface which is receiving the energy from a source. That amount of energy we generally call it as insulation. Okay. Here we are talking about Earth's insulation. So that's why I'm taking the example of sun and whatever the solar radiation, solar energy that is coming and which is received by the earth. If you see almost in 2 billion parts, 1 billion is 100 crore. So if you say 200 crores of energy, if that many parts of energy is coming from the sun, then how much part, how much energy will be trapped by it? Only one part of it will be trapped by the earth. So that is the amount of energy which is received by the earth and that energy is enough to drive all the life forms on this earth. So just imagine the amount of energy which is coming from the sun. Okay. So insulation it generally varies like the amount of energy received from the sun it generally varies with respect to the latitude. Matlab, jo horizontal distance hai, horizontal lines hai us basis pe bhi vary hoga seasons pe bhi depend karke vary hoga then day and night times pe bhi depend karke vary hoga this all happens because of the the inclination of the earth okay the earth is not straight it is slightly inclined because of this inclination so there is at some locations vertical incidence of the sun rays like where there is uh, vertical or 90 degree incidence and at some locations there is a sloping of these or slanting of these sun rays. As a result the amount of sun energy received at these locations it does vary as a result of it insulation of these surfaces also varies and it is going to drive the climate of that particular area. So if the climate is varied then automatically the flora and fauna and biodiversity of it and even the people who are living in that particular area all of them are equally influenced okay so that is why it is very very important apart from that it also plays very important role in understanding heat budget of the earth i'll explain what is the meaning of heat budget in some other session so it simply means how the energy is uh, which is received by the earth is being managed by the earth. Okay, So we will discuss about it in some other video. So this is insulation. Now having understood insulation, what is the meaning of albedo? So simply it means, now in the previous slide we have understood, there is source of energy which is sun and from here the radiation is coming and it is falling on the surface of the earth and whatever the amount that is received by this particular portion or this particular surface we are calling it as insulation now after receiving this energy the energy either it will be consumed or it will be absorbed by that surface or it will be reflected by it. or it will be reflected by it so here the ability of a surface to reflect whatever the energy that it has received that ability we generally call it as its ability albedo okay or simply we call it as albedo effect so this albedo generally varies between 0 and 1 so 0 means whatever the energy that has fallen being absorbed by the surface 
and nothing has been reflected for example a black body and one indicates that whatever the energy that has come entirely perfectly been reflected so there is no ideal thing like 0 and 1 apart from that black bodies but in between this number varies if you are to talk earth as a whole so earth as a object earth has the albedo of 0.3 or close to 31 percent that means if it is receiving 100 percent of energy out of which 31 percent will be reflected by it so that is the reflective capacity or simply albedo of the earth further this capacity varies depending upon the nature of the surface if the surface is light colored or smooth there is a lot of reflectivity so it has close resemblance with the reflectance as well so for example i can give snow if the surface is covered with snow it will be having lot of reflectivity as a result here the albedo of the snow cover is close to 80 to 95 percent that means 0.8 to 0.95 that will be the number of the albedo similarly if there is some sort of black object a coal or such sort of surface is there it is going to be reflecting less so that is how the albedo of the surface depending upon its characteristics it's going to vary and upsc once asked it has given certain surfaces like grass grass has been given okay sand has been given and forest has been given forest canopy etc and they have asked to arrange them either in the ascending or descending order of their albedo ye to general idea se bhi ban jata hai if you have options then you can arrange them just looking at their color looking at their uh, no smoothness and all you can simply arrange them okay if there is snow obviously snow will have more reflectivity so you can simply arrange them so this is the kind of question we can expect from this particular section i hope the concept is clear and if it is so if the video is useful to you do like share and subscribe and if you have any doubts do comment we will get back to you thank you very much